I jump in this? It's a bag of Calvin Klein where? I see it. And it's Wait, is that Calvin Klein? Can you hold this? Try to get it quick and hand me the clothes. Okay. Don't try not to step on them. <gasps> okay. Oh, I see the ants. What's up, YouTube friends, family, associates, and subscribers? Sade with the receipts, bringing you receipts. No, we didn't get any receipts because you saw the title already. Listen, man, this is part two of my seventh dumpster dive i believe this is it's crazy because we went back after we went to um the store aldi's and everything this morning we went back and um first we, we were heading back to the plaza because we we're like you know we didn't stop by dollar tree and um we went to aldi's earlier this morning and we just left aldi's and went somewhere else because we weren't planning on dumpster diving and so after we found a little bit of stuff uh, we went a few more places and on the way back home, we were like, you want to stop back by all this to see if they dumped anything else? Sure enough, they did. So the first part I'm going to show you in this video, guys. Yes, this is part two, but I'm going to show you the food first, okay? Um, this one did not come from Aldi's. I, this is some kind of organic store, and I just noticed it's 1% there and 0% milk fat. We got about 10 of these, and we gave 8 to the mission, and I just wanted to keep two to try it for myself and it has yesterday's date on it september 3rd so we're just gonna see and see what they are these drinks right here we got four of them my daughter said these are the ice drinks i guess the ones we were getting from dollar general for 30 cent and 15 cent during the clearance sale so i don't know and everything is sealed um we got some peanuts fruit snacks um six pouches in here i believe is it open mm -hmm. okay yep this one is open <laughs> But it looks like about six in there. And that's April 3rd, 2021. So that's crazy. And some more Ziploc bags. These are from Dollar Tree. Or sandwich bags, not Ziploc bags. I'm sorry. And we got this from Aldi's. Some ground coming. And this is. Um, best Buy date is July 1st, 2022, and I did open it. Can you help me um, unscrew that? And it still has the protective seal on it. And um, two cartons of eggs here. I did give one away. Oh, I must have broke that one here because that one was not broken. We checked all of them, and even if it was, just toss it out and keep the rest. So um, that's two cartons. And then these chips. Are these ones you said are good? Yeah. yeah. Those are the from the organic. Oh, okay. Um, my daughter said these are good. I don't know. Some sea salt. Tira. Tira. Real vegetable chips. And she likes those other vegetable chips too. That looks like straws. That's shaped like a straw. Cornbread crisp. I have no idea what this is. Honey butter flavor. Clancy's. <clears throat> Clancy's is um, Aldi's brand. Food brand. Some Haribo. Um, gold bears, all these things from Aldi's. That's what I said, right? I said yes, Clancy's yeah. is all these um, brands for food. I know. And then now I'm showing Haribo. Mm -hmm. This, yeah, I know. All of it is. Okay. I think, well, most of it, the ones that aren't from Aldi's, I'm letting them know. Um, these little snacks, are these from Aldi's? Since you remember everything, these little things you said look nasty. <laughs> the cupcakes. Why are you whispering? Um, yeah, these are from Dollar Tree, so she's correct about that. And I gave two boxes of these away, and I just kept some for the video. I'm going to give these away, too, because I don't eat stuff like this. And um, these are also from Dollar Tree. Instant lunch noodles. Two cups of them. And these Dolbita cranberry orange natural flavor with other natural flavor cookies these are not open january 23rd 2020 2020 
perfectly good box. Not even open. Okay. Um, fruit snacks. And this is open. Um, my daughter threw some lollipops in here because we had some lollipops from another bag. But um, there are fruit snacks in here. Nothing wrong with them at all. This box was open, but they're sealed. And we got some hefty cups. I did not need a coupon to get these from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree threw them in the dumpster for me. Okay? And it says 18 comes in here. Three, six, nine, three. It's probably about 12 or 13 of them in here. Okay? And this little drink right here, I have no idea what that this is. is this is a sparkling drink. I do know that because it was fizzing. And um, it doesn't have a label. And you guys already know about the buns. They had so many buns. And this one my daughter was excited about. And I don't know why. Are you drinking energy drinks? She drank energy drinks before? Mm -hmm. She I was like, ooh, Red brand. Bull. And she it's was like, brand. it's a what? It's a good brand. Oh. She was like, I just know it's a good brand. She was like, ooh, Red Bull. And she said there were so many more. Um, but she did, it was like icky down there. The one she saw at the bottom of the dumpster. So she left those. But we got quite a few cans. And we gave some to the shelter as well. Okay? And I could not get that footage, you guys. And it's a lot of footage that I could not get at the dumpster because my memory was full. And it still is tripping. So I don't I don't know why. But um in here I also got some of this behind one of the pet stores. Um cat food, which I hate cats. <laughs> Y'all should know that. If you have been watching me for a while, I cannot stand cats. So these four things of cat food will um, be donated to a pet shelter or a neighbor or someone that has a cat okay so that is it for this first part with the food okay okay so here we are on the second part of this haul of part two okay this is all the merch that i found at aldi's you guys this was our second trip at aldi's remember today's the same day but we went again, and this was nighttime, maybe around 8, 8 p.m., something like that, a little bit before 8 p.m., but it was dark, and um, I think the store had closed, I was about to get ready to close, and my daughter was like, since we were going to Dollar Tree to check, and we hadn't been to Dollar Tree um, that day, because remember, again, we weren't planning on going dumpster diving today, um, so she was like, yeah, let's stop by Aldi's again, like I said about the food that I was just showing you guys, and they had all this merch in there this little box alone right here my daughter just set this up my oldest daughter maya so shout out to maya and she's right here beside me to help me and she was like this box right here looks like a um baby shower gift set already ready <laughs> this one came from where oh yes you're right this came from dollar tree oh, yeah, not family dollar but i know what you meant um so these powders right here came from dollar tree this basket is kind of icky at the bottom i don't i think that's egg right i think so yeah that was egg from in the aldi's dumpster so we're not going to keep this basket not just because it's icky but it's kind of broken in the back but um if not i would have kept it it was cute but we got a bunch of these um well not a bunch five well i think that's a bunch of baby powder they're not slit or anything and i do love the smell of baby powder nothing is wrong with them and they're perfectly full and fine okay but this one got you know stain on it some goo from the dumpster but dollar tree dumpster for the most part is not nasty i guess because they don't really have a lot of food well they sell food but so far since i've been dumpster diving it hasn't been nasty it's mostly cardboard boxes and just merchandise like this but i do have to be careful because there are always a lot of it's always a lot of glass in there and broken candles so let me show you what we got from um, Aldi's so far. And my daughter just pick up something and we'll show you from there. This Pembroke, um, Maya found these. And nothing is wrong with them. These Pembroke 24 count dry erase markers. Brand new in the pack, guys. Okay. And I don't know. Oh, well, I guess this is the only part. I didn't even see that picture earlier. Turntable organizer. I thought it was something missing from this. I thought it was a Michael Vick hair phrase. Really? Because <laughs> it had this. So. Okay. I didn't even see that. Oh, that turns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turntable. Okay, duh. Like, so you don't have to ask somebody, can you pass me the ketchup, please? Or just turn it and get it your damn self. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got that from Aldi's. 
Um, this cord, my daughter think is so cute. I think she just likes the color. Um, yep, some kind of plug cord, extension cord, I guess. That came out of Aldi's dumpster. <clears throat> All of this stuff came from Aldi's. If it came, the only thing came um, from a different place, like I said, is the baby powder, and that was Dollar Tree, okay? So, um, oh, and the Q-tips. Forgot about those. Those came from Dollar Tree as well. But everything else I'm showing you now came from um, Aldi's. My daughter also found these. She found all of this stuff in here. Look at the shoes. So cute. Nothing is wrong with these shoes. Tag still connected to it. So, I don't think this was a return. Or maybe it could have been a return and just they never wore them. Okay? So, I know I was saying earlier <clears throat> in part one how that was my first time finding merchandise, that churro maker. And now, I think I know the times to go. And what's this, Kaya? I think a cooling. A uh, cooler? Cool oh, bag. it's a beach bag. Oh. Yeah. It feels this like a is so pretty. It's huge, too. This is pretty. With a little ice, well, popsicles. I was going to say ice cream pops. Popsicles on it. All right. <laughs> oh, and this was another Dollar Tree find, too. Um, the clips just were open. It's still six in there, so half of them, because it, it came with 12. So that was a Dollar Tree find. And this shoe polish was also a Dollar Tree find, okay? And we just got the one shoe, just in case we found it on the way out, but... We never found it, and it was just in all of our stuff, and we forgot to throw it back in the dumpster. What was this? This was Dollar Tree? Yes. Magic Shine. Oh, I guess, oh, this goes with the shoe um, polish, or shoe shine. Okay. I was, you know what, I ain't even, I should tell y'all, because you know, I'm real. Guess what I thought this said when I got it at the dumpster? Garage. <laughs> I was moving so fast. And I just saw the garage right I there. It was a soap thing. And I didn't even see the shoes. I just thought it was something you hold your garage key pad in or something. I don't know. You know the soap things that you. Oh yeah, yeah. it does kind of look like that too. And bamboo kitchen towels, rayon from bamboo. Nice, right? So nice. No, nice. Bamboo placemats. And we got three of these. We have more. Did, I don't. Know I thought we had are. more too. I don't know what they are. It has to be somewhere in the car. Maybe they rolled up under the seat because we're missing some stuff. So it's three of those placemats. And this cute little, I told my daughter it looks like a pig mixed with the unicorn, mixed with the teddy bear, mixed with something. I don't know. But this came out of Aldi's. That came out of Aldi's. And this bottle that her and Alani was gonna fight over. <laughs> Open it. I forgot what they call these um, little thermo or whatever bottles. <laughs> oh my god, you're breaking my candles. You can't. Okay, I was gonna say maybe it was switched on wrong. See? Clean and new. Okay? And that's pretty. And these are pillowcases my daughter rolled up. And this one is going to have to be washed. Did you see this? Mm. I think that's egg stains yeah. on it. Because this one, I don't think this one had any stains. Oh, well, now it does. And it's like a little cute print, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But it looks like ink or something. I think glitter. it's all over. Is it? I think well, it's everything will be washed anyway. <clears throat> and then all of these gift bags, you guys. Aldi. Yep, Aldi. Sweet baby. Nothing was wrong with these gift bags at all. Happily ever after. We got two of those designs and two of the sweet babies. And like I said, I think it was more. But um, we didn't go down deep because it was food and goo on the rest of that stuff. And this is a men's, our men's swim, tr swim trunks. Just turn it around. Nothing wrong with them, but, well, maybe somebody brought them back because it looks like they resealed it and put tape there or something. So someone could have worn them and brought them back. Children's swim cover-up. I thought that was so cute. Too, too cute. Let me see the front again. Aww. Size 2T, 3T, okay. Oh, and there's another bag hiding back there. This has stains on it, but it says Palm Princess. It's a bathing suit. 
has stains everywhere mm -hmm. and that's another bag back there and you don't know I don't know oh <laughs> underwear I wonder if they came out of a pack or something what's this I'm gonna let her open everything up Sarah Sarah ladies scarf wrap Sweet. that's nice yeah um, this is a little shirt and this is uh, like a spaghetti strap top mm -hmm. yep she more took her time and all of this and those are more swimming trunks you don't have to unfold them if you don't want what's the flowery thing I don't remember that or this oh my goodness open it I didn't know we had this yeah Audi's. so I can wear this it still has the tag right mm -hmm. Oh, this is a oh my goodness, so cute. Oh, this these are a little big for her for now, but yeah. What is that, flamingos? Mm -hmm. Okay, Floridian chick. What's the um? This is, is that the, another one of those things? Mm -hmm. Um, children's swim cover up. Yes, it's just not in the pack. Blanket. And I thought these were robes, and that's why I feel like we're missing something because the first thing I pulled out it was a white robe. And all we see here is blue and this turquoise. This is a blanket. This turquoise with the clouds on it. And um, we got these. Huntington Home Royal Plush Blanket. There's two. There's two of those. And I'm not sure what and this is. I'm not sure what Cute this is. If you guys know, please comment below and let me know. Is it for the diaper changing? When you go out in public, I think it may be. Yeah, I think so. When you go in public in the public restrooms and pull the thing out to change your baby on, I think this is to lay them down. Because it do look like they threw away a lot of baby stuff, so I don't think I'm too far fetched. And this chair we found in a parking lot when we were driving around to um, see dumpsters. It's a folding chair. It was literally just sitting in the parking lot, so I'm not sure if someone had sports it on the academy. back of their car and um my daughter said it's something about sports academy mm -hmm. so okay. it was literally in a parking lot so i don't know how many people drove past it before and it has the pouch to go to it okay mm -hmm. and this is oh yeah no, you. my son found the earbuds shout out to my son q Thank you. He found the earbuds. Oh, he found that one too? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he did. I remember now. And he found the earbuds at Dollar Tree. And this, I don't know, property management. I don't know if they were having a meet in at Aldi's or something. And somebody, they were giving out gift bags. But this is what my daughter found the lollipops in um, that you saw earlier in the video in the bag with the fruit snacks. And this one, we cannot wrap our mind around it. They got me so confused. I'm thinking it's just party confetti. You know, you throw on the table. But my daughter pointed this out and was like, hey, look, it says plastic table cover. So, can someone in the comment please let me know what's going on? She was like, I don't think they would. someone would take their time and cut this up. And she was like, and it's not even open. But then I turned it over and I was like, well, you can't open it from here and just fold it back. But it still doesn't look like it's ever been open. So, do they just call this a table cover and this is... You know, like it says, for a party and you just sprinkle the confetti over a table? Or was it packaged in the wrong bag? And I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's why they threw it away. That was weird. But guys, that is my haul. I think it's probably safe to say, and I know I've said this before, like my best haul yet. That's why you say yet. So far. Okay, I hadn't done this one before. So that's why the other haul I titled my best haul yet. So now, before I do any others, and I believe this is my best haul yet, you know, above all of the other ones that I did. This was insane. This was crazy, okay? And remind you, we're missing items. I did get robes out of that dumpster. So it has to be more stuff. Maybe in the trunk. Did we put stuff in the trunk? Or maybe I accidentally donated it because I was giving away a lot of boxes and bags and everything and it was just crazy and all that meat I got earlier in part one. Guys, it was insane. Okay, so thank you so much. Please tell me what you think about my haul. And I would like to close this video saying this. And I'm sorry to leave this, leave on this note, but I'm going to try not to be negative because...
people take things the wrong way. But someone commented on my last haul. I don't know if it was the haul before, but one of my dumpster dives and said they really like my videos, but they hate when I dumpster dive and some other stuff. And they ended it with, um, like it's disgusting and stuff like that and rats run in and out the dumpster and uh, you don't need to do this these type of videos we can afford to buy food that really broke my heart for her to say that and I'm not gonna say the person's name but the comment is still there what do you mean we can afford to buy food I'm doing this for the people who can't afford to buy food and I can't buy food for everyone so this is another way for me to help people that can't afford to buy food is dumpster diving for healthy good clean food i'm not going to bring them something that i won't eat i even keep some of the stuff i don't give everything away with the majority of the stuff i donate it but i keep a couple things like i kept two packs of meat and two of those milks so if i'm not going to eat it i'm not going to donate it to someone but for someone to say that, it really hurt me because they do watch all of my videos and I think they've commented a few times. But if it's something you don't like, don't watch. It's that simple. It's some people I subscribe to and if something, if they do something or say something I don't like, guess what? I click off. I'm not going to put a negative comment down there saying how nasty it is. So what? I don't like watching porn, but I'm not going to keep clicking on the porn videos and be like, ew, that's so nasty, or gay porn or something like that, and be like, that's so nasty, why do you keep doing it? Why do I keep watching it? You know what I mean? So, I mean, I appreciate your support, and I always tell you guys to be honest with me, and I don't get mad for someone being honest, but it's just how they ended that comment. We can afford to buy food. Everybody can't. It may be some people watching right now from a shelter or that's homeless but still are able to have a phone and maybe in the parking lot of McDonald's getting Wi-Fi to try to find ways to survive because I've been there. Well, I didn't have freaking 50 cents to buy a banana. I've been there. So please keep negative comments to yourself. I did not like that at all. Yes, some people think dumpster diving is disgusting. I used to be one of those people until I started seeing the awesome things that they can get out the dumpster and to help other people with. So again, if you don't like it, please click off. And you already see the title. So why click on it? You read the title. If you get the notification from Sade with the receipts and it says dumpster dive number whatever. Don't click on it. Okay? All right. So that's it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. Either way, it helps the video. Otherwise, I would not tell you to thumbs down the video, okay? But I do want your true honesty. And if the majority of people like it, then I know this is something I should keep doing. But if I get more thumbs down than likes, you know, maybe I'll be like, oh, well, I need to start doing something else then. They don't like this, okay? So that's why I ask you guys to do both because I would like your opinions, okay? And sometimes it may be haters from other channels or other bigger youtubers sending them over here to dislike it i don't know it may just be being paranoid but please comment below and engage with me and please tell a friend to tell a friend and please share 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 if you dare honey and i will see you guys on the next haul and it could be a penny video coupon something i think i may do family dollar next i don't know all right guys remember watch those ads i love you toodles